Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, hello and welcome back to Everspace 2. I'm Computer, and last episode we got captured by and then escaped from some, I guess they would be pirates, who tried to ransom us. The thing is, I am Adam in the game, a clone, a combat clone. You see, Everspace 1 was a roguelite game, and in that game you died a lot. And each time you died, a new clone of Adam would activate. Which is a really cool way of doing a story in a roguelike game. I really appreciate that conceit. Anyway, after the story of Everspace 1, Adam is now free to do whatever he wants, except clones are illegal and hunted mercilessly by the military. So we're on the run and hiding out in this old beat-up station that uh, our new friend Dax knew about. Apparently he hid out here uh, prior to the story of this game. It's really beat up though and we need to actually fix the generator, I think. So we need to find and collect scrap metal, 11. We need to find and collect cooling unit, 1. And we need to find and collect athium crystals, 14. So we can do that, but also... We can craft things here if we want, if we had the materials for it. We also have an inventory where we can see all of the weapons and equipment our ship has. And we're, we're pretty bad at the moment. I wish I could have kept the gun I found in the tutorial. It was a green gun. Pulse laser? I forget. It, it looked nice. It uh, did some good damage, but... Um, that ship is gone. Speaking of ship, we can also upgrade our devices, which Dax installed in the ship without our permission. We have an EMP generator, creates an electromagnetic pulse in a 500 meter radius around the ship, disabling all targets for six seconds. And there's a 47 second cooldown. And we can upgrade it as well. Not right now, but we will be able to in the future which will make the poles have a radius of 520 meters and still disable everything for six seconds, but the cooldown also decreases, which would be nice. Though that is a very marginal upgrade. Oh well. We also have an energized boost, instantly catapults the ship forward for two seconds and it has a 52 second cooldown. We can upgrade that to two and a half seconds and a 49 second cooldown. Which is interesting. Uh, support all warfare. I think I currently have the EMP generator active. Which is fine. Yeah, we're not going to do a lot of fleeing. I don't. Well, I hope we don't, but mm, we'll see. We'll see. And we also have a whole bunch of attributes here. Firepower, precision, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage. Structure is hull hit points. Expertise is offers unique benefits depending on the ship's subclass. Right. In this game, you don't, you, the pilot, don't have a class. Your ship is your class. So you can switch out to any other class that you have a ship for. Uh, once you get the option to buy new ships, for instance. Or maybe we can find some, I don't know. Resistance, hull damage reduction, and debuff duration reduction. That is nice. And then utility increases energy damage and kinetic damage and the ins of the installed devices, so not weapons, because we have firepower for that. Uh, but for the... Uh, the device is interesting. Special induction. Primary weapons have their fire rate increased up to 20% depending on current shield charge percentage. Interesting. Static overload. Turns the ship's primary weapon into a lightning gun. Firing arcing electricity at enemies and everything around them. Passives. We have one passive. Static Overload has a 10% chance per second to apply EMP to affected targets for 5 seconds. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of information here that probably doesn't matter at the moment because we don't have anything to upgrade. We also have a map here. 
I'm not sure I like the idea that I can see all of these systems before exploring. Then again, Adam has lived in this universe for a while. So it makes sense that he would have some information, I suppose. And then we have a single mission that we're on right now to find and repair stuff. We've done Flying Blind and we've done the Wingman. All right. Data, characters. This is who is hunting us. She's with the military. She really wants our hide for some reason. Gas Mask is who tried to capture us and ransom us. Callahan is our former boss. Current whereabouts, DMC, GMB position classified. So we don't really know where he is. Maybe we'll run into him later. Ben is our friend. He was uh, working with Callahan or for Callahan, just like we were. And he's currently in cryostasis. Uh, we, I hope we'll be able to heal him up later. And then there's us. Adam Rosling, that's our last name. Cool. Birth, Hector Delanoy Station, 2995. Was believed to have died circa 3055, so at 60 years of age. All right. Wait, what time is it now? Birth circa 3020. Unknown, unknown. 3002 at Earth. Hmm. Was demobbed in 3044 at the discontinuation of the cloning program as a stipulation of the peace treaty was understood to have gone underground and run an illegal cloning lab with partner and fellow former fleet Seth Nobu um, hmm yeah I don't know what time it is right now and then we have uh, station storage here as well that where we put stuff that we don't want to carry in the ship I suppose but let's go collect some stuff The game is a looker. Hello. Let's see. Cruise drive. Hold A. Oh, hello. I reckon GMB didn't know you were a clone. No, just eight more shifts and they would have paid me a ticket to Eden 12. Eden 12, huh? Let's see. Super gel and credits. Yeah, we're going to take that. Come on. That's one ridiculous name. They have lakes there? Cool. I dig lakes. When I was a kid, my old man used to take me kayaking almost every day. That was on Byron 4, just before the whole place went to hell. What's kayaking? You serious? Scrap. We've got a visitor. Leave him to me. Maybe a good time to pop that gift bag and try one of your new devices. In the meantime, I'll right. the front door, just in case. Hold X and press near to stun them. Yeah, well, I'm not near them at the moment. But I'm, I'm keeping an eye on them. Are they even coming here? 2.5 kilometers. Liquor. Oh, sorry. There are two basic types of damage, kinetic and energy damage. I guess I got a lot of kinetic damage there. While she's shields are solely affected by energy damage, armor can only be brought down with kinetic damage. Once the shield is down, the armor is destroyed. Both damage types will decimate the hull. Ah. Okay, so we have hull, we have armor, and we have shields. That makes sense now. So once the shield is down and the armor is destroyed, both damage types will decimate the whole, the third. Okay, good. Usually a weapon deals both types of damage, but depending on which value is higher, you will want to use different weapons in different situations. Detected. Fine, fine, fine. 1.5. Oh, hello. Oh, wow, that is very sensitive. Pad. It's all red. Oh, no, we can go far. We can go lower. Though I feel like zero would mean that we can't actually do anything. Thank you. You have fully charged your ship's alt. 
ults or ultimates are special ship's abilities that can be activated to unleash a mighty offensive or defensive power. They are used usually charged by shooting down enemies and have to be used to be able to charge again. Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you. Hello. Be sure not to waste your ultimate on a single weak enemy, but at the same time, don't save it for too long as it's just a matter of time until the ult is fully charged again. While active, you can also stop the ult to preserve the remaining energy. And how do I do that? Probably same button, I guess. There. Thank you. There. Pick that Hello up. Again. That. He must have detected us when we reactivated the hangar. So about kayaking. Kayaking. Best thing ever. Say, okay, if you say they never so. told us soldier grunts how you clones worked. But I heard they gave you guys fake mi- Nanobots, small, nice, and great. fragments to keep you motivated while fighting. If kayaking isn't in there, someone clearly didn't do their job. My memories are fragmented, but not fake. They're a mix of random experiences taken from my clone father's life and every incarnation that came before me. All passed on from clone to clone until they ended up with me. Holy. So you're some kind of body hopping immortal soul. Well, not anymore. The cycle was broken. So this time when I die, I'm done. You know what I would do if I were you? No, what? Not croak before I've been kayaking. <laughs> I really mean it. If I ever get the chance, I will. Sounds like a plan, and we have some more enemies. Make sure that the area is clear before you head back. Don't want word of our activities here to get around. Cooling unit. There we okay. That was the thing we wanted. And super gel. Now it's just crystals. Uh, hmm. And more scrap metal. I mean, could never hurt, I guess. I hope. Athium crystal deposit there and home base there. That's really odd the way it does that. When I boost, if I hold it down, it. Hmm, I'm gonna have to do some experimentation with that. Oh, okay, you don't hold it down. You have to click it again. I guess we can change that some uh, in the settings. There. Boost behavior is hold, I think. Yes. First, let's go ahead and kill these guys. Auto cannon. Oh, no, 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 no. Pulse laser has longer range. Hey, anyway. Knockroach was right. We've got new neighbors. Let's give them the tour. Yeah, you just died, though. Damn, whoever invented. Invented what? a lot of traffic around here. Yeah, something must have happened to our cloaking system. Any luck with those resources yet? I'm still on it. Excellent. Let's see, uh, that should be some. Anyway, um, I was holding down the button to boost, and then letting go, and the ship just kept boosting, which uh, not really how you want that to work. Come on, there, there. There. Checked off everything on the list. Great. Now bring the parts so we can give that reactor a whirl. Sounds like a plan. Although, hold on. Can't hurt. Hmm. 
There we go. I thought I saw something familiar. Although, I don't seem to have any loot. So maybe I shouldn't bother with them. Iron and credits. What's with the yellow lighting here? All right, anyway. See, cruise drive. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. What? Obstacle detected. Yeah. Um. There we go. Bulletproof container. Well, that's good. Mainframe component, iron, and... Oh, you have found your first mainframe component. A full stack of these can be converted to a mainframe expansion. Mainframe uh, expansions can be used to enhance attributes like firepower, precision, structure, utility, resistance, and expertise. Be aware that each enhancement on the same attribute costs more than the one before. And we also get better sensors. Ow. And I think this is actually a... No, no, we may have some... No, that's on the other side of that... That wall there. All right. Still... I love secrets. Thank you. This I haven't seen before. in there not answering me no time for a nap pal just uh blacked out for a moment not sure what that was blacked out anything i should be concerned about it sounds serious no no uh, nothing of the sort it's just um memory loops or i don't know i haven't had them for a while a clone thing huh i think i heard something about that once if it happens again, I want to know about it. We might need you to get examined. But for now, let's focus on our current needs and the base. Sounds like a plan. We can restock for a single credit. Sure. And... X purchase. Right, there we go. And uh, open perk menu and fix a reactor. We can also craft if we wanted to. Oh, these are the resources I have. These are components I have also. And if I... Doesn't seem... No, I, I don't have anything I can make. Because otherwise I would be... If we use the mouse, I sh would be able to uh, turn these two on, I think. Anyway, inventory. We can move all of that over. Well, no, no. No, this sensor probably we should activate. Um, 
an incomplete part and I need three to create an expansion. All right, well, we can store that, certainly. Seeds. Yeah, let's store all of them. Liquor. We can store that in my belly. And then the old... The repair 30% of hull hit points over three. Yeah, that's, that's good. Let's just move that over there. Also, expand view with... No. Expand. Oh, it expands the view of the... No, that's not how that works. Oh, quick. That's how that works. This does not do the expand view. That's what I wanted. Oh, I need to hold it. Well, that's tedious. Anyway, perks. Hello. Companion perks. Each companion comes with their own set of perks that can have multiple levels to unlock. Can have... Okay. Uh, unlocking is done by fulfilling the requirements. Sometimes you will just need to provide some simple resources. Other times you are also asked to accomplish certain tasks. Note that all resources you are investing in a perk cannot be retrieved, so always think about when and how much to invest. Sounds good. And we can invest in the reactor repairs. Sure. Invest three out of eleven. There. And then three, four, yeah. And then one. Ah, it worked. Never thought I'd miss this shabby place. Those Bloodstar idiots had me locked up for ages. What do they want from you? Well, what they want from everyone. Credits and information. Unfortunately for them, I don't share with outlaws. Anyway, this is where we're at right now. We've got lights, climate control, and access to scans of our vicinity. Can the scans help me navigate Superlight again? I can't fly blind forever. Good idea. We can't reconnect our navs, or the fleet would immediately locate our asses. But with these scans... Here, have a look. Cedo Outer Rim, Rhodia Orbit, and Union Bridge? That's as far as we can scan? It's far enough for now, at least what we need to do next. I need you to fly to all three locations, and keep an eye out for little devices we like to call beanies. Beanies? That's short for beanbags. They're small DIY signal distractors. And used to keep this base off enemy radars, but obviously they don't anymore. Sounds like a job for Ben. You need an engineer on this, not me. Why don't we focus on getting him fixed first? No time. We're lit like a bonfire. If we don't figure out what's wrong with the distractors now, we won't live long enough to save Ben. Tend to the beanies and make us vanish. That'll give us time to figure out what to do with your friend. Sounds like a plan. Well, let's set a waypoint there. Why not? Can I set two, or is it just... No, it's one. All right. And back to perks. Repairs tractor beam. Increase the base tractor beam range to 800 meters. Allows you to pull multiple... Oh, yes. I absolutely do want to invest in that. Power cells. there. Uh, sure. I only have 400 credits. Let's hold off on that one. And then cruise drive, reduce cruise drive activation delay down to one and a half seconds or a little under a second is also possible. Repairs. Pay only 70% for hull repairs. Same for equipment repairs. When below 30% of your max hull hit points, docking automatically repairs the hull up to that value for free. That is nice. That is nice. It's rather expensive to invest in it, though. I think Tractor Beam will be more useful in the short run. And then we have the story so far, where we can rewatch all of the cutscenes if we want. 
which is nice. World. Um, which one was it? <laughs> Doesn't really matter. And we have guides and tutorials as well, which is really rather nice. And we can mark them all as red if we want. And stats. I've already played for an hour and six minutes, really. All right, all right. Now. Normal demand in current system. Those are not expensive. Ah, oh, there we go. Hmm. Well, I guess we can just start moving towards that place. There. Jump drive! I mean, that... Hmm. Having a loading screen like that... I guess I understand why that happens. It's not great. You can set uh, a custom waypoint via the map. I mean, I, I have. There. Open the in-game. Thank you. Oh, I... Oh, a little. Wait. Travel to... There we go. Nice clouds. Yeah. It's a beautiful game. And I love the backdrops as well. Very home world. Hello? Transit gate access denied. Well, that makes sense. So on the distractor. But... I think this is it for this video. So, with all of that said and done, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been Everspace 2, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll tune in next time.